In this video, I'm going to show you how to change players' default idle animations, and this will be for the players entering the game. I got a butt scratch, chin scratch going on right here, and then I left uh, the default animation in, and I also have a nose picking animation. I thought that'd be pretty cool. Let's go ahead and get started. We'll work on the nose picking animation because that's the easiest to implement. I have a brand new base plate right here. Let's go to our avatar tab, go to rig builder. And if you like R15 games, do an R15. If you like R6, do an R6. So I'm gonna use R15, hit the man rig. There we go. I like the rig to be looking to my right when I animate them. Go to the animation editor, click your rig, and then we're gonna name this. I'm gonna call this uh, idle nose pick. There we go. And let's go to our three dots. I'm gonna go to set animation priority. We'll do idle, because this is an idle animation. And then I'm gonna hit the three dots again and save. If you look inside your dummy, anim saves, you will see your keyframes for your animation. We don't have any keyframes yet, but that just means don't delete your dummy until you've published your animation. Let's go and click here. So we use our animation editor. We have a timeline right here in seconds frames. So if you open that cog up, timeline unit, seconds frames, this is one second. This little blue thing is a scrubber bar. Whenever you move your rig, wherever your scrubber bar is, that's where the keyframes are gonna change. So let's go here and toggle looping animation because this is an idle, so it'll sit for a long time replaying over and over again. If you don't do this, you're gonna have it play one time and it's just gonna be like, your, your dummy's just gonna stand there doing nothing for however long it takes to get another animation going. Let's hit those three dots. I'm gonna save that off again so I don't lose my looping. I'm gonna grab this arm right here if you notice right here, I have this rotation indicator. If you don't have that, go ahead and hit rotate. Also, I have my rotation on 15 degree. Oh my goodness, it's on nothing. Let's go ahead and change that to 15 degrees. I'm gonna get rid of this keyframes. Go ahead and delete those. And then change my snap grid for rotation to 15 degrees. All right, now let's take a look. One, two, three, four. Ah, that's pretty good. And notice that L. That means that the rotation is local to the thing you're rotating, which is the upper arm. If you do a control L, now the rotation is local to the global, or is, is locked to the global space, right? So this is control L, local, global, local. I'm gonna keep it on local. Let's go to his head, and I'm gonna drop that down a little bit. One, and then maybe move it over a little bit. Get a little bit closer to the nose, hand to nose closeness. Now let's grab this lower arm right here and we'll move it on in. All right, that's pretty good. Now for the hand, I am gonna reduce this. I'm gonna reduce this to like the, the rotate to five degree increments because I need a little finer movement. There we go. Let's grab those dots right here, the keyframes. Click on that top one, right click, copy selected. I'm gonna go to the end of the sequence and then do a paste keyframes. You want the end to be the same as the beginning because we're looping it. So you don't want jitter at the end. Let's, uh, let's do a couple of those. Let's, man, maybe at six, do paste keyframes. Make sure you are on, your scrubber bar is on the new keyframes and Let's say I will move this maybe on the red. Yeah. Yeah, let's go and get these copy. Move it out here. Paste keyframes. And move that down. And then we'll get these copy selected. Paste keyframes. Maybe move it in more let's try it that's not bad i think i'm going to go with that let's save it so hit those three dots hit save oh i noticed that it's saved under automatic saves sometimes it does that roblox does that 
it's weird. So we have our, our idle nose pick and our automatic save. Let's go ahead and save as our idle nose pick so we know where it's at when we go to modify it, if we need to modify it. Now I'm going to hit those three dots. I'm going to go to Publish to Roblox. There we go. Idle nose pick. Submit. Get this these little boxes right here. Click on it. And that's going to make the ID copied, right? It's going to copy it to your clipboard. We're going to close this. Go down to Server Script Service. Hit the plus. Add a script. On the script, hit the plus. Add animation. And then in animation, for the ID, paste. Hit enter. There you go. You don't want to lose that because then you have to go to the website to try and try and find it. Or you can just actually republish it and then do a save as, and then it'll give you the animation ID again. Let's go ahead and name our animation to uh, nose idle anim. And then the script, you can call it whatever you want. I'm going to call it game manager. I would put this in a game manager because it's, it's capturing the player added event. That's what we're going to do. So I'll say game MGR. I'm going to close my animation window and get rid of my print statement. Let's get our game object. We'll get the player service. We'll do a player added. Capture that event by connecting it to an anonymous function with the player as the parameter. Then we'll get that player. We'll do a character appearance loaded. Connect that to another function. Char is going to get passed in the character. I call it char. And then we're going to get the humanoid from the character. So local humanoid equals char. Wait for child humanoid. Then from the humanoid, we're going to get the animator. Hume, wait for child animator. Make sure you spell those right because you won't get an error. It just won't, it just won't work. Then I'm going to do a for loop. So for we could do underscore because we're not going to use the I for I and track in pairs animator get playing animation tracks. I wish it would have helped me on that one, but it didn't. That's the longest one. Did I spell that right? Get playing animation tracks. At least that'll give us an error if it if it's wrong. All right, so then we're gonna get our track and we're gonna stop it because we're loading a new we're lo loading a new animation. All right, we're gonna do local. I'll call this anim script. Right, this is the thing in your character. So we'll get the character. Wait for child. Animate. Right. We have our animate script. On the animate script, we have animations. So we'll get our animate script or an in script idle. And we have two idles. We have an animation one and an animation two. We'll change animation one. Animation one dot. And then I have this animation ID. So I got change script. Wait for child. Remember, we actually put the animation on our script. So nose idle anim. And we got one more thing. We need to get the, is my, is my cursor there? We need to get the animation ID from that. Cool. Should we put this on a new line so we can see it? There we go. Looking good. All right, what else? Let's copy this part, right? Because we have one other thing there. We have, we have the weight. So the weight is how likely it'll get played. The higher the number, the more likely it's going to get played. But it's only going to get played if it's an idle animation. So it's going to choose between animation one and animation two. We'll do weight dot value. Let's give it 10. And I think we're good. Let's try it out. Play. There he is. He's picking his nose. So you can start running. Oh, everything's normal. I'm going to stop and I'm going to pick my nose. That turned out to be pretty good. Nice. All right. So I will see you in the next video. Good luck with this one.